Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video from the news playlist. In this video, we will actually implement the home screen, we'll implement the UI for that screen. So let's go ahead inside the presentation layer. And inside the common layer, here we are going to create a new composable file that called articles list. So this articles list is responsible for showing the list of articles we get from paging 3. So in here we want to pass the modifier. And by the way, I put that into the common package here because this same articles list composable function will be used inside the search screen. So it will be used from multiple screens. So that's why I put it inside the common package here. And now we want to have the articles. And this is just a lazy paging items that has article then here we want to have on a click and we want to send the clicked article so in here i'm going to create another composable function and this one is called handle paging result so in here we are going to handle the state of our paging and let's now here get the articles i'm going to copy this one here paste it here and in here we are going to return boolean so if this is true then we know that we have the articles retrieved successfully okay now we want to get the state so we can say load state articles dot load state now we want to check for errors so we can do that by this we can have win a block and there are two type of load states refresh prebend and the pen so we can say load state dot refresh is load state dot error so if we have an error in the refresh state, then we want to get that error. And now let's duplicate this one, this time for the prebend. And here prebend. Again, this time for the append. And here append. Else than that, then we don't have an error, so we just make this value null. Okay, now we want to return when the load state dot refresh is loading. So load state dot loading. In this case, we want to show our shimmer effect. In this case, we want to show the shimmer effect, the article shimmer effect. We can create another composable function here called shimmer effect. And we can just make this private. Then we can just create a column. A vertical arrangement let's make this arrangement spaced by medium padding one we import that and here we only want to have 10 articles to show in that shimmer effect so let's call article shimmer effect and let's pass the modifier here we just want to add some padding horizontally and we can pass the same medium padding we pass in here okay so in the loading state we're going to call the shimmer effect and then we return false because we don't we did not retrieve the articles yet if the error equals to null so if we are not loading and the error is null then we know that we have empty articles so in here we're just gonna pass a return false and in here, I'm going to show the empty screen. Well, we have not created that empty screen. So I'm just going to copy and paste that screen because I don't actually want to waste time on designing a whole screen now. So you can actually copy and paste that from my GitHub repository. You can go to the home branch, then go to common and you will find the home screen. So now I'm going to paste that. And as you can see here, so let me just show you the preview of that. So basically here we get the error. If we have an error, then we're going to show that error. If we don't have an error then we just we just show the empty icon and this screen responsible to create that logic in here we actually handle um let's see okay we can see a preview because we have not done with this so let me actually call that in here and i will get back to the empty screen in a bit and else than that we return true so let me now get back to the empty screen here and let's build and refresh so by the way, this function will also actually get the error from the paging3 library and get uh, and then just return a string depending on the error. So if it's socket timeout exception, then we know that we have server unavailable error. If it's connect exception, the internet is unavailable. Else than that, 
there the error is unknown and this is what the screen looks like so this is when we get an error this is what we get this is what we're gonna get and yeah so that's the main idea of the empty screen now else than that as we said we return error so above here we can actually call that we can say val handle paging result we can say handle paging result we will send the articles and then we can check if that's true in here we just display a lazy column let's delete this pass the modifier fill max size we want to pass vertical arrangement to arrangement dot spaced by we want to pass medium uh, padding one and for the content padding we want to pass padding values we want to add extra small padding uh, do we have that yup extra small padding too and inside here we can just call items count equals to articles dot item count and then uh, count and then here we want to get the article of that index so we can say articles of index it if that's not null then we show the article card for that one so like that we show the article card and we send the article in here now we're gonna send it and let me delete this so on a click we are going to call on a click on a click actually let's use the brackets and send the article and that's it that's it for the articles list now we can go to the presentation layer we can actually go to the home here and create finally the home screen so home screen composable file home screen and here we want to have the articles which is just lazy paging items and we want to get the article here then we want to have something for the navigation so for me i always expose the navigation events to the parent composable so, okay so now for the new sticker we actually gonna get that in here so we can say titles by remember so we're gonna show the titles in the new sticker and since we are depending on another state we need to use this uh, side effect derived state of and now if the articles dot item count less than 10 or bigger than 10 then we want to slice this to only 10 articles so we can say articles dot item snap shot list so this will give us the items then we call slice we want to take only 10 so integer range start equals to zero and end inclusive to nine so that will make sure to only return us 10 articles and now we only want to get the title of that so we can say join to string and here we want to add a separator and that is the emoji so we have a red circle and now i found this uh code for this emoji so we're just gonna do that we're gonna paste in here and then we want to just join that by the title and else than that then we just want to return empty we don't have any titles now here we want to report the get value so import android x dot compose runtime get value now let's actually build the screen so we're gonna have a column let's apply a modifier on that to fill the max size we want to apply padding from the top medium padding one and we want to also add the stats bar padding because as we said we are going to draw the elements behind the ui and we don't want the stats bar to overwrite our ui so we want to calculate the padding of our stats bar and add it to this column now in here we want to add the logo image so painter resource r dot drawable dot ic logo and let's pass null for the content description now we want to add a modifier here so the width is 100 db the height is 30 db and the padding here horizontally we want to pass medium padding one now we want to add spacer modifier dot height medium padding one okay so now the next thing we want to design is the search bar so let's actually go to the common package here let's create search bar here and this is going to be a composable file 
For the parameters, we want to have a modifier. We want to have the text and read only, which is just a Boolean. Then we want to have on click callback and we want to have on value change, which since the new string was typed in the text field. And we want to have on search, which is the click on uh, the keyboard IME action. And one more thing, I want to make this on click function and click on click lambda function uh, notable. Uh, ju just do it like that. Okay, so now to be able to get the click callback on the on the text field, we can't actually do that with the modifier. So we need another way, and that is using the interaction source. So we can say interaction source. We can say by remember, and here we want to have an object of mutable interaction source. This one. So this interaction source basically will give you all the interactions that happen on that text field. And we can get the uh, click interaction by is clicked and we can say interaction source. Uh, then we can say collect pressed as a state, this one. Then we can get the value of that state. And here we can just have a launch effect is clicked. That would be the key. So every time this key, uh, this state changes, we will be inside this launch effect. Then we say if is a click because that's Boolean then we want to call or we want to invoke on a click like that invoke and that's it and now we can just build our text field so let's actually have a box here we can pass the modifier to this box then we can just design our text field in here text field so for the value that would be the text on value change we also pass on value change here we need to pass or we need to add this annotation. So let me just put this into new lines. Now let's pass a modifier. We want to fill the max width. And here we want to have a custom border because if the device is in the light theme, then we want to add a border. If it's not in the light theme, we don't want to add a border. For that, I always do it with a custom modifier. So I can say modifier. Uh, then we say a uh, search bar border and we can make this compose so that's how we create a custom modifier then in here we just check if is system is not in the dark mode not this one but this one then we can say border border and for the width 1 db let's import db for the color that would be color dot black uh like that and for the shape that would be medium so material theme dot shapes dot medium and else than that we just want to return this current modifier now we can go up and apply this modifier on our text field so we can say search bar border now we want to pass the read only value and for the leading icon we want to add an icon here so let's do that paint a resource and that is icon search let's import r and for the content description i'm going to pass null now for the size let's add that and this is just icon size and let's go to the diamonds file to add that i'm going to add it in here and this is just 20 db now let's get back and let's import this make sure to import the one that comes from our package Okay, let me just format this, put them in the new lines. And now we want to change the color of this icon to color resource r.color.body. Now we want to add a placeholder. We can say text. The placeholder here would be search. Um, we can add style, which is just body small. And we want to add the color for this, which is placeholder. And we want to add a shape for this text field. And for this shape, let's add medium. And now we want to change the colors. So let's do that. Text field default text field colors here. And for the container color, that would be color resource r.color.input background. 
um, for the text color if the system in the dark mode then we want the color white and if it's not then we want the black color now for the cursor is the same so let's change this to cursor color and we want to disable the indicator that shows at the bottom of our text field and there are four colors with this indicator we're going to disable all of them so disable indicator color uh, let's just type color indicator sorry and we can just make transparent let's type indicator again color the transparent indicator color the transparent and the last one for the unfocused so color the transparent that's how we cancel the indicator colors now we want to make this single line single line to true and we want to add keyboard options we want to change the ime action to search keyboard actions to get a click callback on that IME action. We can here say on search and we can just call on search. Then we wanna apply text style and that would be about small. Then finally, don't forget to apply the interaction source to get the click callback on this text field. So interaction source. And now we can just create a preview functions for this text field. go to the split mode to preview our search bar okay so as you can see this is our search bar and yeah this looks as we want as you can see the border here only shows for the light mode and it doesn't show in the night mode now let's go to the home screen to call that from here so we can say search bar now okay not this but we want the search bar this one for the text, as we said in here, we're not gonna show anything and this basically is not gonna be a editable. So we wanna just pass empty string. Uh, for the read only, we wanna pass uh, true. For the read only, we pass true. On value change, we don't wanna do anything in here. And on a click, so let me just remove this and use named parameters. On click, and we also have on search. So inside on a click, we're going to navigate to this search of, let me just put that into new lines and inside only click we can call navigate and we wanna navigate to the search screen. Okay, now let's add spacer here and let's make this height of medium padding one. Then we wanna show the titles or the new sticker. We can do that with text and we can just pass the titles. We can add a modifier here to fill the max width we can add padding from the start to medium padding one and now to add that text animation we can just say basic marquee uh basic basic marquee and i think we need to add an experimental annotation then we want to change the font size to 12 sp and we want to change the color of this to color resource r.color.placeholder now we want to add the spacer and then we can add our articles list. So that spacer would be the same as this one. So I'm going to copy this, paste it in here. Finally, we pass the articles list in here. Articles list. We pass the articles and on a click in here, we want to navigate to the details screen. Let me just put that in new line and we can call navigate route dot detail screen dot route and one thing i want to just add a modifier here we can add padding horizontally medium padding one and that is it for our home screen now let's just test that from the main activity and in here okay so we have the navigraph let's go into the navigraph inside this in news navigator screen let's just call the home screen but we want to get the view model first so view model which is home view model. We can say health view model to get that. Then we can call the home screen. Then we can just get the list of articles by that. So articles equals view model dot news dot 
collect as lazy paging items, then we can pass that in here. Uh, navigate, we don't wanna do anything in here. And now we can just launch the app to preview our home screen. Okay, let's click on next, next, get it started. And we got a crash. Let's see what is that. Maybe we're missing some permission. Um, let's see. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, we missed the internet permission. So let's add that in the manifest file. So here, uses permission. And let's add the internet permission. Now, let's try again. And okay, here's the shimmer effect, here's the articles, and here's the new sticker. So everything just works perfectly fine. And here's the emoji in the new sticker. Um, so that's actually pretty cool. But uh, I can notice some issues. The first one is the padding of our search bar. Let's see, let's check that. Let's go to the home screen. To the search bar, we just need to add a modifier here and add that padding. Let's add a horizontal padding here and we can make this medium padding one. And one more thing is for the images. Um, so in here, for example, the images does not take the whole container. Let's go to that article card to check that. And we probably forgot the content scale in the async image here. Let's add that content scale. We can make this crop. And now let's try again to see the result and um, here you go. So the image now looks as we expect and everything is cool. For the images here, they're not showing and this is not an issue from our Android app. It's just uh, the images themselves, they are not working. Other articles don't have an image at all. Okay, so that's it for this video. In the next video, we will work on the search screen and catch you there.